Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar. In this video, we will see how to set up and configure NextDNS on our Android mobile device. So let's check it out. The user interface for doing all this might change in the future. If that happens, please let us know in the comments. We will share the updated steps for this. NextDNS is one of the widely used DNS services to protect home networks and personal devices. We can personalize and customize this according to our security requirements. First, we have to go to the NextDNS website. We can open a web browser and go to nextdns.io we will get a page like this here we have to select the option at the top my.nextdns.io here we have to create a free account if we don't have the account already it is recommended to have an account to manage all the settings after entering the login details we will get a page like this here we can see all the details we can go to parental control here we have the option to block specific apps and websites we can do that or we can block by categories we have adult gambling dating etc we can also block individual websites by going to the deny list. So we can do all this inside the next DNS dashboard. So we can go to the setup option here and we have to scroll down a bit and we will have this private DNS option. This one we can copy this and we have to keep it ready. Now we have to go to our Android settings. And we have to select the private DNS option. The user interface might change for other smartphone brands, but uh, we can use the search option to search for private DNS. We will get like this for our smartphone. It is under connection and sharing. So we can open this. We can go to specified DNS option and we can enter the copied one here. We can paste this and we can save this. That's all. After that, we can go to test.nextdns.io on our web browser to confirm whether the DNS configuration is properly done or not. If it shows status OK, that means we have properly configured this. There is also a NextDNS Android app, but it works by using a local VPN to control our DNS. This gives us extra features like logs and device details, but it also uses our phone's VPN and uh, this may use our phone's battery a bit more. These are the steps to set up and configure NextDNS on our Android mobile device. Thanks for watching this video. Do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comments section. Please do subscribe if you find this video helpful. Have a wonderful day and night.